CNN is a for-profit business. Fox Corp has been muzzling me to keep certain information from you. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News Channel, dedicated to reviewing and discussing news stories from around the world. Our fan base has grown to over 300 subscribers, and I want to say thank you for watching, hitting the thumbs up, and leaving your comments. I really enjoy reading all the comments, so keep them coming. By the way, YouTube will automatically hide your comment if you use certain words, I don't have a choice in that matter. Sources will be linked in the description, so you can read the full details yourself. Today, I will be discussing two videos of news workers going a bit off script to expose mainstream media. I think this is very important because the majority of people believe everything they see and hear on big news channels because they believe they are always telling the truth and are in business for your best interest. The first video is of CNN's and Navarro, giving her thoughts on if the guy that was caught masturbating on a Zoom call should have been allowed to continuing working at CNN. In October, you were on a Zoom call with your colleagues from The New Yorker magazine. Everyone took a break for several minutes, during which time you were caught masturbating on camera. The link to that full video is in the description. Now, let's watch Enns' reaction. Are you surprised to see him back on the air? You know, actually, I'm not surprised he's back on the air, but I will tell you, when I saw that interview, oh, God, how embarrassing, how humiliating. I, I kept thinking to myself, if I have to go on live TV and explain to the nation why I masturbated on a Zoom call, I think I'd rather go sell avocados under I-95 than get my job back on TV. Look, um, I think some instances of sexual harassment are black and white. Some instances are uh, more nuanced. In this case, uh, he was not sexually harassing anybody. He didn't have the intent to sexually harass somebody. He was sexually harassing himself, uh, maybe, okay? He was on a Zoom call. He w it was an accidental exposure. It was not a CNN Zoom call. It was with the New Yorker from where he has been terminated and faced consequences. He was off CNN for many months uh, during the elections, during some of the hottest political and legal times. I have to say, I think some of my CNN colleagues are the legal analysts who fill in the void. Laura Coates, Ellie Stokel, Pete Barra have done an um, amazing job. And um, I, I also think CNN is a for-profit business. If viewers don't like it, then they should make their views known. I don't like everything and has said in the past, I think some of her comments are just dumb, and I would tell you to be cautious when listening to her. In my opinion, in this instance she is so upset that he is able to keep working and other people that she thinks are doing a great job are being passed up that she actually gives us some great information by saying that CNN is for profit. That alone lets us know that money is the bottom line, not news, and not the well-being of people. That would be more along the lines of a non-profit. Maybe like the group Project Veritas. Here is the next video. Thanks, guys. That's right. Before we get to that story, I want to let you, the viewers, know that Fox Corp has been muzzling me to keep certain information from you, the viewers. And from what I'm gathering, I am not the only reporter being too subjected to this. I am going to be releasing some recordings about what goes on behind the scenes at Fox because it applies to you, the viewers. I found a nonprofit journalism group called Project Veritas. It's going to help put that out tomorrow, so tune into them. In my opinion, all mainstream media is for profit and ultimately, they are controlled by people deciding what information and what narratives will be shown to the public. I've done other videos about this in the past and recommend you watch them. There is even a video that shows many news stations saying the same thing. The sharing of bias and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same thing without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda control exactly what people think. I could go on and on, but I want you to think this over. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.